and we have here Leonardo yes, Vinci, Leonardo Vinci. Not Da Vinci. Leonardo Vinci. No, it's Vinci. It's yeah. Leonardo yeah. Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because um, I think um, normally the important importance of opera in uh, understanding the music of 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries overlooked. And op the opera was really the main, uh, the main idea of almost all composers. And um, also, if you think that music uh, has always been uh, thought like a song, uh, a song text. So principally, uh, a vocal melody and a vocal melody with a text. So in all in instrumental music uh, should be thought always like a melody with an implied text. Um, we know that there are many musical figures uh, invented just to represent and to aid, to help the expression uh, of the words. So when words are not there, there are the figures and there are the, the, um, the um, there are the, uh, the rememberings kind of uh, code, which is in our, in our uh, imagination and which is today still active because nobody would like um, uh, um, Marcia Funebre for his uh, wedding, for instance. Uh, well, you wouldn't like... Uh... This is, is more, more right for a funeral <laughs> or for a wedding if you are very, very... Uh, I've got great sense of humor, I'd say. <laughs> So, and in, um, in all music, and especially in, in all Italian music, the uh, importance, the implication of theater music is very, very uh, present. Now, this area, this area, Sole Sorvo, Le Nesco La Mare, it's uh, in, not only in this opera, Lo Sciocata Faust, which means the false blind, uh, it's also a popular Neapolitan song. And um, it's, I can't sing it because my voice is a, a pity. I only play. I recall this example because we have the famous K9, Esercizi 9 of Scarlatti, which has the same air and the same character. And it's interesting, it's written <clears throat> in Esercizi, I forgot to write it here, but it's written Allegro. And there is also the, the source of, um, of um, I don't remember if Arsenal or uh, Turin, which is not in 6-8, but rather in 12-8. And it's uh, sometimes, I, I think it's Allegro Allegrissimo. So normally this has been much damaged by the 18th, 19th century tradition, which transformed it into a pastorale in E minor by Hans von Bülow. And so also today, many pianists and harpsichordists play. Very, um, very tender. Mm -hmm. But the air I, um, I, I quoted um, a few minutes ago, uh, says that the, the medley, medley, this kind of fruit typical of uh, south of Italy, 
are very bitter when they are not ripe, but if you wait, you will eat them. And so are women. And when you first try uh, to cart them, they will be, they will be, they will be bitter and will uh, reject you. But with time and uh, with uh, caressing and, and being uh, gentle with them, you will conquer uh, them. So it's a mid character piece. Uh, this kind of pieces um, which um, kind of teach a lesson, a moral lesson. Uh, this was intended to say, don't be, don't rush up, don't be uh, too in a hurry with uh, with your girl. Uh, wait for her time, and you will have the best of her. Mm. For instance, there is another air of Pergolesi, always in, re, in, in D minor. Um, uh, so you see, it's always D minor, always in, in, um, in uh, 12, 8 tempo. Always oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> no, it's not there. It's yeah. not there. Okay. So that's, I think, this sonata, it's a, uh, simply a quotation on this kind of air. And also, you remember, in Vinci, there was... Um, here, uh, here in the Scarlatti sonata, sorry, I, I make you jump up and down. Oh, it's the you easiest can go work to, to do. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> so easy for you, me. You come back to, you can, uh, here we have a, so the character of this sonata, I think, would be this. So, mm. it's also this. Not a funeral of, march. <laughs> no. Yes, not a, not really a tender, slow piece, mm. but like something with humor and with this kind of detached, uh, detached um, expression of somebody who is saying uh, a truth, telling right. the truth of, of life to the audience. 